Hi guys, today I am going to do a review on Prismacolor Premier Softcore Pencils. I have been using Prismacolor Pencils for the past 2 years and they are still one of my favorite pencils to use. But I haven't reviewed them yet. I have a set of 48 pencils and a set of 24 portrait colors. But most of those pencils became very short so I decided to purchase a few more sets. They are available on Amazon for very low prices so I bought 3 sets of 132, 72 and a portrait set. So I'm going to unbox all these 3 sets and we'll talk about their pros and cons and then do a small demonstration. So I'm unboxing the set of 132 colors first. They are arranged in 5 trays of 24 colors and 1 tray of 12 colors which sits on top. You can see that they are not arranged in color groups. Prismacolor arranged these colors according to the colors available on the smaller sets. You can see that the last tray contains only the colors that are available in the set of 24. Then next tray includes the remaining colors on a set of 48 and so on. So last three trays are the exact same trays you can get in a set of 72 colors. But that arrangement is not useful for easy color picking. I'll have to arrange them according to the color groups later. It helps to choose a color easily when you are drawing something. For example, if you are looking for some sort of blue, then you only have to look on the blue side and you don't have to search for that color in all the trees. Since it is not easy to get Prismacolor pencils as open stock in India, I thought of buying a set of 72 and a portrait set so that I won't run out of my most used colors. Like I said before, 72 set contains the last 3 trays of 132 set. 72 set is the ideal set because they contain several grays and portrait colors additional to the colors of 48 set. 48 set is in short of good skin tones and grays. This portrait set has different cover design from my previous set, but the colors are exactly the same. Here you get a small booklet containing the details of various Prismacolor products and a short step by step portrait tutorial by the artist Ann Kullberg. They come pre-sharpened and has a thick vibrant lead. Pencils have the same color as the leads. This helps to easily pick the colors from the set. The other end of the pencil is not covered, exposing the lead inside. They are branded on the sides where they also provide the name and the code number of the pencils. This is how they look when sharpened with Derwent Super Point sharpeners. This sharpener never breaks the Prismacolor pencils. So these are the advantages of buying Prismacolor pencils. Prismacolor pencils are available in as many as 150 colors and all these colors are unique and non-repeating. These include excellent shades of grease and extremely useful portrait colors unlike many other brands. For drawing portraits, Prismacolor is my first pick because of their good portrait colors and creamy blending. Prismacolor pencils are wax based. This means that they are water resistant and have amazing blending capabilities. Their leads are very soft and you can transfer color onto a paper with a very light touch. The colors are super rich, especially their blues and purples are excellent and they can be layered a lot before completely covering the paper. Derwent color soft pencils are also a wax based pencil but they can only draw 3 or 4 layers before it becomes very waxy. But Prismacolor can take a lot more layers. 
and since they are very soft they can be easily burnished and we can actually move the pigment around on the paper itself this helps to get a smooth finish after adding several layers initial layers blend so well so that no lines are visible at the end this is a clear advantage over other oil based pencils such as faber castell polychromos when used dry without any solvents prismacolor easily beats polychromos due to their easy blending capabilities but when used with solvents they behave similarly and finally prismacolor is one of the cheapest pencil you can get among artist grade pencils now coming to the cons prismacolor is notorious for breaking the lattes easily this is actually not because of their brittle lattes their lattes are actually strong and can stand some pressure but their wood casings are horrible this is evident when sharpening with handheld sharpeners they tend to chew up the wood and break the lattes in the process i have heard people saying lattes breaking inside the wood casing making the pencil useless but i have never had a lattes breakage inside the wood casing yet but the pencils broke several times while sharpening with handheld sharpeners but now this problem is solved after buying a helical blade sharpener i have already made a video on how to sharpen these pencils without a single breakage you can watch it from the card above and the next drawback is that the lattes of some pencils are off center making the pencils even more breakage prone when using with handheld sharpeners but this problem is also not there when using a helical blade sharpener Since these pencils are wax based you will get a wax bloom after heavily applying the colors you can see a white wax layer after a few days especially on darker colors so you need to apply a fixative spray to avoid wax bloom this is generally associated with all wax based pencils and some colors are already very waxy so that you cannot easily put other colors on top of them So these are the pros and cons of Prismacolor pencils from my experience. Now I'm going to draw a parrot with these pencils. I'm only using Prismacolor pencils and the paper used is Strathmore Bristol Vellum 300 series. So thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And you can follow me on all social media linked below.